And then he said, those aren't buoys. <laughs> anyway, Hazel is giving me the old hazel eye, so my maw is closed for business. Welcome, everyone. As you know, we have no official leader of the Zesty Zine Club for Zinis to reflect the true egalitarian nature of zines themselves. So we'll roll the ceremonial zine die to find out who gets to present first. Charles, present us with the pips. Good morning and thank you, Hazel. As you well know, tangible dice are nearly impossible to procure nowadays. So I took the opportunity to build from scrap an analog number generator randomatic. I'll simply punch in the number range as one, two, six, beep, boop, bop, bop, simulating a proper die and depress the lever. Balloon apple ice cream? What kind of number is that? No, that's just the improbability drive that powers the generator. As you can see, the Anbrom has produced the result as we've spoken. Negative three million Q W Omega? How about since none of us were even assigned numbers in the first place, I nominate Fred as the premier zany as his name falls first in the alphabet in some countries. Thanks, Kamala. I'd love to. So when Hazel and A Shock asked me if I wanted to make a zine, I thought it was some sort of food I didn't know about. But then she told me that a zine is like a little book that you make yourself, like a short magazine. And my favorite part is that you can make it about whatever you want. So I thought to myself, what do I really like? And the answer came really fast. I like creeks. So I wrote my zine and drew the pictures and I called it Creeks I Like, a nature zine by Big Fred. It has creek drawings and words about creeks and what to do when you go to the creek. I had a lot of fun making it and I'm really excited to see what others did to be creative with their zines. Now, I'd like to hear about Kamala's zine, since she was so nice to let me go first. Thanks, Fred. This is my zine. It's called Inside the Mind of a Camel. That's me on the cover, and then I got real creative with the inner content, and there's a lot of pictures. There's facts about camels, a few dromedary diary entries, some real fun jokes and drawings, and other things you might find inside the mind of a camel such as myself. Thank you, Camilla. Most of us know how wonderfully nimble, inventive, and fun a certain species of bushy-tailed rodent is. <clears throat> But you know, there are all sorts of talented mammals of the order Rodentia. My mini-zine introduces you to a few of my distant rodent cousins, Sir Charles included. That's all. From one nut connoisseur to another, let's hear about Charles' zine. My zine focuses on the fun, notoriety, and profit that can be gained from the magnificent world of inventing. Find a problem, solve it. For example, dogs are insufferable busybodies who keep chasing me. Solution? Sell them fancy boots to slow them down. It's gold. Okay, well, my turn, take a rater is telling me that's it for the day. See you next week, everyone. Better check the batteries on that thing, Chaz, as I, a shark, have yet to reveal my contribution. And here it is. Fresh off the hydrothermal vent is the startling and commemorative 82nd issue of A Shark's Six Star Guide to Six Star Boot. 
In this issue, I eat a variety of things, living and non, and bring to you classy reviews based on overall taste, mouthfeel, crunch, and ability to evade. Let's just flip through to a random page and have a look. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes, spicy chicken and waffle sandwich with maple syrup aperitif. Let's see here. Uh, oh, oh, six stars. Wow. What else? Now, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, sure. A roasted lower portion of toilet seat, lightly breaded with moldy box of farmer peats, ancestral photographs. And that was, mm -hmm. oh, six stars. Okay, one last review. So you can see that I'm not biased towards just eating anything that exists. Ah, of course, gentleman lost at sea, and his poorly constructed raft was six stars. Wow, must have been a good week. But can I really call this a six-star guide if I have yet to sample it? Well, I, for one, am amazed by the amount of creative zest you were all able to muster. These zines are fantastic, and you are fantastic zinis. In fact, these zines are so good that I'm going to recommend that they be published on AADL.org as a non-fungusable token, along with a link that shows all of our dedicated viewers how to make one. Hmm, perhaps even some sort of zine vending machine. Okay, now my Take Your Turnerator, which I just renamed due to a patent lawsuit, Ugh, you know how litigious mice are is indicating that there are zero to one zinis left to present. Is that a sufficient range to officially adjourn this meeting? Yep, looks like we're all done. Thank you all for sharing, and we'll see you next time, friends. Bye. Bye. All right, me Jolly Rogers, time to get right wobbly over our little zeny weenies. No trippy twit switch. If you want to see these cool zines in detail, you can head over to aadl.org slash the Saturday show. You can see them, print them out, and learn how to make your own.